symptoms often start in the feet and, later, progress to the hands and arms. This is because blood vessels that carry oxygen to the nerves can also become damaged. This damage can slow down nerve signals to the muscles. It can also cause the nerves to send signals at the wrong times, which can result in pain and sometimes the nerves stop communicating completely. The main symptoms are painful tingling, burning, and numbness. In today's video, we will tell you some tips to treat diabetic nerve pain. From acupuncture, exercising, loading up on vitamin D, bathing in warm water using capsaicin cream, and more. Watch till the end to learn about them all. Welcome back viewers, I'm Dr. Rex and welcome to the Health Concern channel. Before we begin, kindly use some time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. Eat a healthy diet, eating a balanced diet can help people with diabetes manage nerve pain. By eating the right foods to help control blood sugar levels, people can prevent worsening damage and help reduce underlying inflammation. Focus on healthful options that will help keep blood sugar levels steady. Beneficial foods include lean proteins, good fats such as those from olive oil, nuts, or fish, and non-starchy vegetables. You can also benefit from eating fruits in moderation and complex carbohydrates, such as oatmeal or whole grain pasta and bread. Enjoying this list so far? Well, keep watching because there's a lot more good stuff coming up, but before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this, and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. Load up on vitamin D, your skin produces vitamin D in response to sunlight. It may protect against nerve pain. When researchers studied people with diabetic nerve pain, they found that those who had lower levels of vitamin D also had more pain. It's hard to get the recommended 600 to 800 international units of vitamin D from food alone. You may need to take a supplement. In fact, one study found that people with diabetic nerve pain who took a supplement once a week had fewer symptoms after two months. Exercise, exercise combats pain in a few different ways. It helps keep blood sugar levels in check, which may slow nerve damage. Exercise increases blood flow to your arms and legs. It also boosts your mood and provides stress relief, so you're better able to deal with the discomfort. One study found that people with diabetic nerve pain who exercised regularly found that their pain didn't get in the way of daily activities such as work, sleep, and relationships. So what are you waiting for? Lace up those sneakers. If it hurts to walk or jog, try swimming or the stationary bike. Use a capsaicin cream, hot peppers may leave your mouth on fire, but their active ingredient, Capsaicin might relieve some of the burning and pain of nerve damage. A study published showed that wearing an 8% capsaicin patch reduced pain levels by 30% after two weeks. Only your doctor can give you a higher dose patch. But research shows that lower dose, over-the-counter cream with about 0.1% capsaicin may also help. It could reduce pain intensity by 11% more than a placebo cream. Quit smoking. Smoking can interfere with your body's circulation, which can limit the blood flow to your feet and make nerve pain even worse. So, it's important that you avoid smoking so that you don't make any nerve pain and numbness in your feet worse. People with diabetes who smoke are also more likely to experience a heart attack or stroke. If you currently smoke and want to quit, using a tobacco aid, seeking outside support, or deciding to go cold turkey may be able to help you quit for good. Use seizure drugs, seizure drugs can help treat diabetic nerve pain. Strong evidence shows the seizure drug pregabalin is helpful. To a small degree, it also can improve sleep and quality of life as well. There is moderate evidence that the seizure drug gabapentin can help treat diabetic nerve pain. Weak evidence shows that gabapentin may work better if taken with the antidepressant venlafaxine. There is moderate evidence that the seizure drug valproate is a helpful therapy. However, women who are pregnant or who plan to be pregnant should be aware that this drug can cause serious birth effects. People who take Valproate also can experience weight gain and trouble controlling blood sugar levels. For these reasons, it may not be a good choice for treating diabetic nerve pain. Try acupuncture. Acupuncture can help relieve discomfort throughout your body by painlessly inserting thin needles. These needles are usually made of stainless steel and are inserted into different points along your body's energy flow or chi. Practitioners believe obstructions in this pathway are the source of the pain you feel and are usually caused by an illness like diabetic nerve pain. The needles clear the energy flow and relieve pain. 
Acupuncture has been shown to lower stress hormones, leading to less inflammation throughout the body. Cut down on sugar and carbohydrates, you can get a sweet fix from natural sugar in fruits, so ditch the baked goods, candy, and junk food. Always make sure to read food labels for hidden sugars in numerous packaged products. Added sugar is hard on a body that doesn't produce insulin or can't use it properly to manage sugar in the bloodstream. Limit alcohol and swap soda and other sweet beverages for water. Every time a diabetic consumes carbs, their sugar levels rise above normal. When this happens, sugar can damage microscopic blood vessels. In turn, this affects the nerves that are fed by these microscopic blood vessels and you end up with diabetic nerve pain. Make sure no more than 30% of your diet is carbohydrates, and focus on fruits, vegetables, and whole or sprouted grains. Bathe in warm water, soaking in a warm bath or indulging in a foot soak is relaxing for your entire body, and it has the added benefit of improving circulation. This can instantly relieve pain associated with diabetic nerves. But because diabetes can cause loss of sensation, including the ability to feel hot and cold, you should use a thermometer or the help of a friend or loved one to check the water temperature before diving in. Manage stress, depression, and anxiety, your brain and your body are linked more than you might think. This means that stress, depression, and anxiety have a direct impact on pain. The more emotionally unstable or unhappy you are, the more your diabetic nerve pain will physically affect you and cause intense pain. Considering the nerve condition is strongly associated with anxiety and depression, it's important to engage in relaxation techniques. They can include breathing exercises, massage, yoga, and visualization in addition to recommended antidepressants or other types of mood-altering medication. All of these can significantly improve your mood, reduce your pain, and make dealing with diabetic peripheral neuropathy much easier in the long run. Use Evening Primrose Oil Use Evening Primrose Oil to improve nerve function. Apply Evening Primrose Oil on areas that are affected to ease symptoms. If you're lucky, it could even improve nerve function for you. Studies have also found that taking a combination of vitamin E and Evening Primrose Oil supplements may help manage mild to moderate cases of diabetic nerve pain. In one study, about 88% of test subjects experienced relief from the symptom of burning pain as early as two weeks into the treatment. Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation TENS -TENS, is a form of non-invasive pain relief treatment that can help with various conditions. It is commonly used, for instance, by pregnant women, even during labor, and by those with chronic back pain. It is also believed to be able to help those with nerve damage. A machine that has a number of electrodes is placed on the skin in the areas where the pain is found. Gentle electrical currents are then sent through the electrodes. Clinical trials have not yet been able to fully confirm or deny whether TENS is effective, but some studies have shown that people with diabetic nerve pain, in particular, have been able to benefit from it. There was one study on TENS that showed promise as a treatment for nerve pain. Try alpha-lipoic acid supplement, there is a strong body of research that suggests alpha-lipoic acid to be a good treatment option for those people with diabetic nerve pain. Alpha-lipoic acid is an antioxidant that can help to attack free radicals which cause damage to organs, cells, and tissues. Research has demonstrated that supplementing with alpha-lipoic acid, both orally and intravenously may help to relieve pain associated with diabetic nerve pain. Ask your healthcare provider before starting any supplements, as alpha-lipoic acid can lower blood sugars. In the meantime, adding foods such as broccoli and spinach into your diet can also increase your intake of natural alpha-lipoic acid. Do you know anyone who suffers from diabetic nerve pain? How do they deal with it? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for your time, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more content like this one. Bye for now.